What's cracking, guys? My name is Fuzzbox, and welcome back to the Pokemon Soul Silver Egg Lock. Where today, today we are, well, going back through the map, and we are going to get ourselves some encounters, which means we're going to get ourselves some eggs. Um, basically, it is such a short trip between Goldenrod and Ecritic normally that having its own episode would have been a bit of a waste. However, because of all the places that we visited so far that we haven't been able to get an encounter and they're all linked by one route uh, after you get after you beat Whitney that we can actually go back without too much of a hindrance and actually get our encounters which means we have a lot of uh, eggs to be hatched today. actually in fact to a point i made notes about where we need to go and how we can obtain the pokemon and by my by my estimation we have 10 encounters today so we have 10 potential new eggs to hatch and 10 new possibilities to add to the team so all i'm saying is next episode if we decide to swap out some of the team because of what comes up just prepare yourself for a pretty sizable montage but well, i say sizable it's probably gonna be about five minutes at the beginning because that's usually how long the songs last at max either way if you're enjoying the series and you're hyped for a little egg hunting uh, adventure smash that like button so i know that you greatly appreciate it leave a comment down below if you see any of your eggs in this t episode today and w uh, make sure that you are subscribed with a notification bell rung so you never miss an episode of the egg lock or any project that we have coming up in the in the future and with that guys let's jump into a team recap before we head on out for the easter egg easter egg hunt So up first we have our Timonatric Shiny Ghastly holding the Black Sledge to uh, heal back some of any damage that uh, he may take, but also to hinder anybody who tries stealing his life force. Roganaut would levitate his ability with Sledge, Hypnosis, Will-O-Wisp and Confuse Ray as a moveset. Then up next we have our boy Henson, our Shiny Adamant Nature uh, Charmeleon with holding the Wide Lens to make sure that he hits a few more of his moves as they're not that accurate. Uh, rocking out with blazes and ability with Dragon Dance, Crunch, Rock Throw and Metal Claw as a move set. Then next we have Lynx, our jolly nature Luxio, holding the expert belt to make sure that any moves you're weak to do that much more damage. Uh, rocking out with Intimidators and ability with Bite, Ice Fang, Fire Fang and Spark as a move set. And next we have Drax, our adamant natured matchup, holding the muscle band to power up all his moves. Uh, rocking up with Guts as an ability with Fire Punch, Karate Chop, Ice Punch and Bullet Punch as a moveset. Then up next we have Arthur the Second, and yes, I did actually change his nickname uh, for the memes. I haven't changed Arthur number one uh, just yet because he wasn't in the squad when I went to visit the name rate. I'll tell you why in a moment. But we have Arthur number two, uh, Arthur the second here, our quiet ninja slowpoke. We're in the King's Rock uh, to make sure that we remember that he's supposed to become a slow king whenever we find a water stone. Rocking up with own tempo as a ability with yawn, headbutt, cut, and zen headbutt. Now I did do a little bit of grinding on Arthur alone, uh, mainly because I looked it up for every Pokemon that we have available to us. And only Arthur could learn Headbutt by level up. Everybody we have so far in the PC cannot learn it. And the move tutor that teaches Headbutt now gives Thunderfan. Which doesn't help us when we're trying to encounter Pokemon. So I purposely went and um, leveled up Arthur to level 25. Now I know uh, I want to clear up something as well. Uh, where I've been saying that Arthur gets to level 28 and then he evolves, I was wrong. It's actually 37. So we've got more time for it to find that Waterstone to try and make sure that he is definitely a Slow King. Um, if, it, if by the time we get to that sort of leveling and we don't have a Waterstone, I'll throw it to you guys on whether Arthur should become a Slow Bro 
or we should try and keep him to be a slow po uh, slow king. Um, if by that point we don't have a water stone, I'll just put one in and make him a slow king. Mainly because he was meant to be sent in with the sole purpose of becoming this. And because of uh, my randomization, I changed the way that evolutions worked. And so the King's Rock was meant to give him uh, slow king, but obviously it got changed. So I let, I'll, we'll wait a little bit longer because we can still rock out with a slow poke at the minute. He's not too much of a hindrance. It's just that when you're getting up to those higher levels, having an unevolved Pokemon may be a bit... Eh. But it also depends on who we have in the squad at the end of today's episode. And then last, we have a change to the squad. We have CMEX, the Adamant Nature Heracross. Not holding an item at the moment because I didn't. I've only just put him on the squad. I did train him up a little bit as well. He started off at level twelve. I've got him at level fifteen, which should then make him on par with all the wild Pokemon that we're going to be encountering. The reason I bring C Max is not because of his ability guts, but because of one part of his move set. So he has Night Slash, Horn Attack, and Aerial Ace. But he has that very important move, False Swipe. False Swipe makes it that the pokemon only goes down as far as one hp as long as you're only using false swipe they will only go down to one hp so as long as there's no weather that'll uh, affect the pokemon as well by taking damage like street or uh, hail or sand then they can get down to and as long as they don't have like recoil moves he's going to be our sort of main way of catching pokemon between him and Bl putting people to sleep and um arthur putting them to sleep we can try and catch pokemon a little bit easier but we needed someone who was slightly uh, luckily we needed someone slightly weaker so we don't just oko everybody um whilst trying to capture pokemon so yeah that's a little bit of tra training i did on the squad again um because of the feedback there was no real reason not to have uh, there was no real reason to have uh, a grinding montage because i was only raising up one pokemon a couple of levels so yeah um that's how it's going and i just wanted to double check because when i was going through the list of locations it did say that you can't get a pokemon in goldenrod city and that was the last place I hadn't checked. And it seems to be true. You can't get a Pokemon in Goldenrod City. Uh, which is fine. Like I said, we've got 10 encounters uh, lined up for today. Um, so what we'll more than likely do is probably do some jump cuts. Because they are back to the beginning and then going through. So what I'll probably do for the first couple, because they are the next couple of routes, up until we get to the pseudo voodoo, depending on how it goes, we may just do some jump cuts to those cities, or we might do a little montage between each one. I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll work it out. You'll see in a moment. I'm just sort of mulling things over in my head. We now have the squirt bottle. Fantastic. Right. Okay. So, um, by logic, I mean we should just go up to the next route, go follow it through. Because basically, like I said, everything opens up once we get to the pseudo voodoo. Um, oh, sorry, the false tree. Um. But yeah, um, once we get to the sort of forestry, it does open up the path back to Violet City and the ruins of Alf, which means we can go home, which also means we can tell Mother to stop spending our money. Oh, I forgot about this one. Um, yeah, he gives us a Spearow, uh, Kenya, um, which... We're meant to deliver to someone. 
but counts as an encounter. We can swap it out. So that's actually 11. One extra encounter. That is something pretty good. Look at the little following us around. It's shiny. I'm more impressed that they actually do show the shiny versions of them whilst walking around. Now we can give it, like I said, we can give it back, but we're probably not going to. Because it is a Pokemon that's on our squad. It's not, because it's not like a gift. Oh, so here we have Kenya. See, I knew Kenya. I knew its nickname. I knew it existed. I just completely forgot where we got it. I thought it was a little bit later on. So, mm, I mean, no, we're, I'm going to count it as an extra encounter. Just going to mark it off that we've got him. I'm basically just making a note of everything so we can try and streamline this a little bit more. Is it because it can't be taken away in the PC? Because I, I do remember boxing Kenya because I've never... I was going to say, I've never actually used Kenya. I've always got him, and I've always put him in the box, because I've always forgotten who I needed to give it to him. Give him to. I don't even know what the reward is, if there is one, for delivering Kenya to the person. Actually, there we go. Um, do, so, do some research for me, chat. Uh, you guys, uh, <laughs> find out for me even though it's very easy for me to look it up um but it's it, we're going for the engagement and all that is there actually a reward for delivering kenya and that mail and if so what is it because who knows we may do it and then box the pokemon that uh we get for kenya depending on if it's worth it if, if it's not worth it we're definitely not Right, Route 35. Please don't see me. Good. Dang it! <laughs> uh, I've been getting... We don't have time for this! <laughs> Ivan! Go away! <laughs> Uh, is this a good matchup? I mean... We're over twice its level. So I don't think it matters. Brother! You're so much weaker! <laughs> uh, we'll try it. I don't think Sledge is going to do much. Did enough. You! How dare you take away my sludges! And to be fair, we are trying to level up so we can become a haunter. Toxic Rock. Okay, yeah, there is no reason to stay in. When we have something that is someone who has a four times effective move. Why would you use to You silly toxic rock. 
You're not as good as Genghis. You will never be as good as Genghis. Mainly because Genghis had a broken moveset, but that's neither here nor there. And a deli bird. Level 15. Right, okay. Turn around, no turn back. Well, the police only attack during night. Which is very strange. Okay, so we will be going up into the National Park where the officer is standing. But we just wanted to get our encounter here first. We've got to beat this bug trainer. Ludge. Just about to say it's super effective, but you're not a fairy type yet because fairy didn't come in until two generations later. And I... Yeah, let me just send out a, a mythical Pokemon. Um, Henson, gonna need you to come out here and crunch this one. I feel like, given given our levels at the minute, we should get a Charizard by Chuck. By the time we get down to Chuck's gym, I think we should get to the level that we need. If not, maybe when we get back to fighting Jasmine. If we get that far. I... <laughs> Projecting it out into the world where we will do these things. Oh, guess level 25. I can't remember if it's 25 or 28 that Ghastly evolves. We shall find out. It's 25. What? Bro, oh, it's evolving. I will say, Haunter Shiny is so much worse, or un not necessarily worse, but underwhelming compared to Ghastly, because of all the gas around it being the blue for Ghastly, and then the only thing that's really different about Haunter is his tongue is blue. Ah, uh, Shadow Punch. Is it worth getting rid of Confused Ray for Shadow Punch? Considering how low our attack speed is. It never misses. So unless we're up against a normal type. But then we've got Sludge. I don't necessarily like using Confuse Ray. Because sometimes it is just a wasted turn. Because it seems that they never get confused like we do. I mean, it could be good for chip damage. Because with stab, it's 80 power. Yeah, I've never really been a fan of confusion. And hopefully we'll... I mean, when we get to Gengar, we'll be able to swap it out. No. I saw the W and I was like, oh my god, we found a water stone. I was going to say, are there any wild Pokemon around? Anybody here at all? 
Okay, bro. Use hypnosis. Again, use hypnosis. Probably should change the ball swipes in the first set. Ah, you weren't meant to wake up. Far as I'm aware, you don't learn any recoil moves. So that's fine. Oh, but that's a four times effective move. We need to get out of here yesterday. I completely forgot that uh, Nidoran got that. And with focus energy. Oh. Right, made him drowsy just in case. Doesn't matter the ball, because it's going to be swapped out. Right, route 35. There's a Nidoran. Level 12. Awesome. Any other item that down here? What's on? Why do I feel that you're just a... I had a feeling. I had a feeling, but went against my better judgment. Oh, it's, gonna, it's only going to spam protect now, it? because it doesn't have... No, it's got bug. Oh no, it doesn't. It is not high enough level to have bug bite. Arthur got bug bite. I'm sorry, I'm having flashbacks to a trainer having a terrible Pokemon and then Kyogre. If you watch the uh, air, the Revolt White uh, randomizer, you know what I mean. the Kyogre. I don't know why I didn't go with the stab spark. Oh, 
Uy. Go away, need a run. Also, I think I just... I don't know why it only is now clicking in my head. But did we just pick up the wide lens? Which means that we bought the wide lens last episode to give to Charmeleon and ended up... Oh no. Ah, mm -hmm. Physical move. If we do resist, oh crit! Of course, you get a crit. Chances that's a very interesting randomization. I'm pretty sure he only has like um, something like a ferret in the original, like the non randomized. No. Mother's been spending more of her money. Ooh, I didn't heal up Heracross. We will. We're swapping. If it wakes up, we're swapping straight back out. Actually, if it wakes up, I don't know whether we're going to have a chance to... Why would you use double kick against a ghost type? Again, we'll put it to sleep. Um, it's like a regular book wall of it.
I think we hit it with one false swipe and then we just get out of dodge just to make sure that if it does wake up. We normally wouldn't be mad at that, but we need health. Switch back to Arthur just in case it does wake up. Have a break, I don't. An odd tree. All right, I can't remember what level the pseudo would do is level twenty. Seriously, bro, you can't miss. Right, you get one more chance, and then Arthur's coming in. Great, and now we've just given Sudowood a hypnosis. And watch it now, he'll use it and land it first time. That is the nonsense of Pokemon games. We missed three times. Three times we missed with that. And the first time this Pokemon that doesn't even get that move used it, it. Please don't use it again. And if you do, miss. What is that nonsense? just realized as well that sending a hair across against Sudowoodo is also a bad type uh, advantage because it has rock throw right bro you need to come out you need to put it to sleep Because you, Arthur's asleep. Are you kidding me? Five. It took five attempts to put it to sleep. I swear, if this thing wakes up first turn, I'm, I'm just going to kill it. It woke up first turn. 
It wa it walk up first turn. We're getting rid of hypnosis. Hypnosis is just I don't know why it just doesn't I'm pretty sure it's like it's only like 95% accurate. So it's I'm pretty sure it's not that bad. Sudoru, you stay asleep. Actually, we'll shadow punch you one more time. We're not knocking it out. At this point, just throw a timer ball of it. Here we go. Sudo Voodoo is caught. That was infuriating. That almost makes me want to box. Bro. That was fun. I want to give you this for entertaining me. Cool. heal hair across it's not worth having this is why people give uh, pokemon with guts um the flame orb is because you don't continuously get burnt outside of battle so you don't take any residual damage City. Actually, no. Let's go and let's go and heal up first, and then we'll pick a tree, and we will get our encounter. Oh, also, just remembered because I'm dating this. I'm actually recording this on a Sunday, and I remember in the Golden Rod Mart. Someone saying there was someone who comes around on Sundays that um, teaches TMs. Yeah, yeah, he's spending more of my money. Won't be doing that after today. Berry. It's the fact that she keeps going out and buying berries. Like, if some of the items that she bought were useful. Ooh, great balls. Oh, yeah, you only got. You only got Premier Balls from buying Pokeballs. Unlike in, in future generations where you would get um, 
Pokeballs, uh, Premier Balls for buying just 10 of any Pokeball. What did you have? You said, like, we're going to remember you, because I think... Right, we're going to use this. Nope, that's not... this tree. I'm gonna register. Landed a Pokemon. The King of Cops, the Magic Cop. Like where we at? We were in Violet City. Well, the lure ball works with something we caught on a fishing rod, so... Well, that was a cool. Ooh. Don't start this nonsense again. Actually, Her... C-Max, you can come out. Magikarp literally cannot do anything to you. The fact you didn't get it all the way, oh, you are only five levels ahead. Magic Carp was caught. Right, from here, I'm just going to quickly jump from town to town that we need to uh, get through, and then we're going to sort of end up at the National Park to go and do that event, and then we'll head on to the final ones. So I will catch you in a moment. And we're back in Cherry Grove. Let's catch another magic up. C Max, come on out. Gee, 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 gee. Magic, you're pretty fast. You're not. You're actually known for giving speed EV. So uh, I mean. There we go. 
Also, I want to apologize because I think it was last episode I said that I, we were going back to our home in Little Root Town. Uh, that is not where we are. That is <laughs> that is from Gen 3. We are going back to Newbark Town. Right, so that's another encounter down. Now to go back to Newbark Town and uh, yeah, catch you in a bit. Okay, we are back, and I think first of all, let's put C Max up. I think I'm going to try headbutting a tree first. Withdraw. Why can't... I want all of it. Look at how much money of mine you've got. Why are you not giving me my money? No, 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 no. Withdraw. Why wouldn't you let me withdraw? I don't like the fact, I'm gonna, I don't know why it's not letting me, we will work that out, anyway, New Walk Town, I know yes we did get our starter here, but that is a static encounter, this is our actual encounter, a level 3 hoot hoot, We didn't need to do that. We definitely didn't need to do that. When to go on right little route again? Okay, so I don't know why we can't get our mother to A give us our money back and B stop taking our money. Um but um I'm gonna jump back to Azalea Town now. And then I will catch you in a moment. Okay, and we're in Azalea Town. Let's see if we can get an encounter here. Oh. Now, unfortunately, there is no water, so we have to rely on headbutting trees to 
get an encounter. We're just gonna run around, keep head button trees until something jumps out at us. Here we go. A level four Heracross. Zero time. I've been so sad if it had a recoil move. Um. Really? Okay. Try this again. Not about this life. Make a great ball of it. How did you break out of a great ball? Put it to sleep. Go back to pork hands. They're less expensive. <laughs> Plus, if we restock them, then we can get uh, premier balls. H how? You're level four. That's ridiculous. We're told at the beginning of the game, if you reduce their level, uh, their health down and give them a status, they should be easy to catch. This is a level four Pokemon on one HP who is asleep. You should not be breaking out of these Pokeballs. You should definitely not be breaking out of Flipping great balls, I almost trying to keep these ones PG. Try it. Try a friend ball. This is ridiculous. That took way too many Pokeballs. That is ridiculous. For a level 4 Pokemon, I don't care if you are a Heracross. Lyra, what do you want now? Oh, that's why, because she didn't have the money that I was asking for. Go. 
noche. So where was the 13,000 coming from it? Was that, was that what I have? I was trying to withdraw the money that I had, not the money that she has. I am a fool. Right, with that, I'm not going to go back and withdraw it. It's there for a rainy day, I suppose. But she's not going to take any more of our money. Um, but with that, I will catch you guys when we get back to the National Park. Okay, so we're at the National Park. Let's catch Pokemon. A Kakuna. Level 10. You should be a Beedra by now, my dude. So I went through, as I left Azalea Town, I did go through and um, I picked up 10 more Pokeballs. I went back to Kurt and got our Pokeballs on there, which would turn out to be Heavy Balls. And I did pick up some Super Repels just to make tra uh, traversing a little bit easier. Oh no, not through this again. Come on, Kakuna. Don't make me get off without you just to put you to sleep. Thank you, Kakuna. Now, one thing I haven't looked up, which I probably should have, considering it's in the same area, is the Pokeathlon area, which is right there. I'm just going to stick my nose out and see. Oh. Uh, friendship. You're quite something. Your Heracross is quite a Pokemon. It's ready to participate in the po- I do Please don't force me to. Uh, red. I just wanted to see if there was any way I could catch a Pokemon. Pokathlon Dome, blah de blah blah Cool, cool, cool. My name is Magnus. We shall meet again, bud. Did that polyrath just mean mug me? <laughs> oh, we can. Just add another encounter on the fly. Blender. 
Okay. Okay, I looked it up. There are no actual wild Pokemon here, even in the even in the head bearable trees. That sucks. Right, on to the next route, because this has been taking quite a bit of time. Well, taking quite a bit of time for me. You guys won't even notice it. <laughs> Right, we're on Route 37. And our encounter is... A Pidgey. Level 30. That's fine. Pretty sure electric resists flame. <coughs> we just use a great ball. Hopefully this will work. Hey. Why did I... Why... Okay. Come on in, Greg. Let's see if you are here to fight wild Pokemon. These are way too strong. Lapis down. And a fat. Fine. We have ice fine.
Oh no, this isn't the way to go! No! Oh, what do you want? Sunny of Sunday. Gives us a magnet. Yay! We may as well pick up these apricots. I'm pretty sure we've got to fight. Um, yeah, since the furthest away saw us first. Just have, just have, uh, they are not rubbish Pokemon. Um, don't know what to do. Let's go to after the second. And... The rock to on your burn it. That did nothing. See if we can get a dragon dance up or two. How did that do nothing? Just fight and yeah, fight and resist rock. Fight has got to resist. Have I? Did I forget about that? I love the fact that our team consists of a water psychic type that doesn't have a single water type move on its um, uh, on its move set, and a fire type that doesn't have a single fire type move. Is that thing going to blow up? Down that inferno is just making sure that nobody does anything. Go on, Arthur! Arthur, you magnificent beast, you. Are we really handy right now? Surf. Actually, we're just gonna go with regular headbutt on the nine tails. We'll go with karate chop on the graveler. Wait, they can't be critted. That's fine.
confusory. I hate confusory. Is a higher speed priority than bullet punch. Ah, oh, no, it can't be hit with status moves. Right. Then you are now officially useless in this particular fight, Arthur. So let's go out to Lux. And hopefully, Drax won't hurt himself this time. fully evolved Pokemon so far. Four major threats. A Hurriyama, a Ninetales, an Infernape, oh no, Graveler. Graveler wasn't fully evolved. Uh, and then Agron. Oh, what was the move? Revenge? No. All but one was a fully evolved Pokemon. Fire Fang and Fire Punch in case you survive. Oh, Drax snapping out of confusion just in time. Brilliant stuff. Critique City. Actually, I think there is a body of water that we can... Be another magic card. Oh, Polywag. You're going to have hypnosis and you're going to land them all, aren't you? Hey, now, Polywag, we're not into that sort of thing here. As soon as we send out Arthur to <laughs> Yup. This should be fine.
with that, that is... Pokemon. Bill, go away. Hi, I'm Bill. And who are you? Hmm, Buzzax. You know what? I'm the one who developed the system for transfer, so I don't care, Bill. I don't care. Although I I need to look it up by next episode. I think he might give us an Eevee. However, bang. We have actually Yeah, we have eleven Pokemon to trade in. Which is outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. So we have them all written down. And we're going to do them... Um, one at a time? Let me just flip that over. So, there's the 11. So, first and foremost, let's quickly just check. Does any of these have an item... Sudoodoo is a paralyzed heal, and that's it. <sighs> okay. Let's pull up the old dice roller. Oh, that seems to have sunk down. They must have changed the dimensions. Either way, we can see the number. Number four. Two, three, four. We have Reaper. Holding a damp rock. A Kabuto. So I'm only doing it this way because of the mess up the last time that we did a hatching and got the nickname wrong. Right, the next one is. Pokemon number 20, which is Silverback, holding a scope lens. And Silverback is... Aaron. Nice. Next Pokemon is Pokemon number three. Pokemon number three is three horns holding a lucky egg. And three horns is a Tyrogue. Okay. It's you guys who nicknamed the Pokemon, so I generally do not mind. Box number seven for Pokemon number seven. Who is first mate holding the expert belt? Ah, 
and first mate is a chimcha. Oh, it's another fire starter. So we will roll. Pokemon number one. We can do Pokemon number one. Who is San Sonic holding a focus sash? I think I know what this could be. The only thing that comes to mind when I see that is San True. Well, let's find out. Been a while since we got a shiny. Could we get a shiny? No, but it was a San True. I can always go back to the name later. It's fine. That. We roll a fresh dice. Number 14. Has been swapped out for... Shady. Holding another, <laughs> another focus sash. Level 10. Hmm. Shady. So that makes me think of a dark type. There's only one other Pokemon that I think of when I hear the word Shady. Which is Delibird. Which, if you've seen in previous episode uh, previous episodes and in well actually given the border you probably can't you can barely see the t-shirts that i'm wearing um but in vault white you probably seen me rocking out with um a t-shirt from a youtuber called shady penguin whose mascot is a Della bird um so i'm thinking it's either a dark type or a Della bird However, I'm not entirely sure how many of Shady's fans actually <laughs> not only watched the send me egg videos, but actually sent in an egg to me. Uh, so I would be very surprised. I'm, I'm more leaning towards a dark type Pokemon. But we'll see. <laughs> it's a Telebird! <laughs> That is amazing. Roll the dice. Pokemon number four. We can do number four. Swapping it for Aerosmith. Holding a heart scale. Aerosmith. So I'm going to assume it's going to be a flying type. I would be very surprised if it's not. Um, I couldn't think of what it could possibly be, though. Uh, which one? So let's just find out. And Aerosmith is... An Aerodactyl! I don't know why I wasn't expecting like an Aerodactyl. I, I mean, it makes sense. It's a basic Pokemon. It can be hatched from an egg. It's not a legend. So, I mean... And it is being switched out for... Pokemon number nine. Which we can do. Seven, eight... Which is, get over, holding the armor fossil, so that's a free encounter. That is actually quite clever. Whoever sent that in, thank you very much, because you gave us, once we can revive the fossils, that's an extra encounter. Uh, okay, this one, this one wasn't done. 
to it. That's fine. I'll be right back once it's ready to hatch. Okay. All right. That took a little bit more than I expected, but uh, here we go. So get over here is a Gligar. I was expecting a Skaroopy. But this, this makes sense. Gligar. Because it is also a scorpion. Uh, does it fit? <laughs> Get. Over. Right, it doesn't fit. So I'm just going to name it Scorpion. I hope that's okay. I hope that's okay. But first of all, thank you very much for uh, for Scorpion, and also thank you for the, like the brilliant idea of putting a fossil as the held item. Roll the dice, number nineteen. So I'm gonna go for a level ten cocoon. Huh? We have Lulu holding a South Bell. And Lulu is... Ah, oh, Ryulu! Alright, we're coming to the end of the encounters, and then we'll take a quick look at who we got. Pokemon number five. Which is available. Being swapped out for World Turt. Holding a Master Ball. I can only think of one Pokemon that goes with that nickname. If I was to nickname something like that, it would be a Turtwig, because Torterra. That would be me. Uh -huh. And it is a, it is a Turtwig. We have Pokemon number 13. Which can't be done. Number 10. Which can. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Who is Robbie holding an Everstone? Ugh. Not liking the Everstone. I will admit I'm not liking the Everstone, so we'll we'll have a chat we'll have a chat about uh, whether we'll use this. So whatever hatches out of this will have an Everstone attached to it and will be whatever it is. Or be what could it what could it It's a Totodile Oh actually I think I know who this is We're gonna have a Totodile forever <laughs> And we have Robbie This has been a long recording session I level them up off, off a. Right, so we have uh, Reaper, the Jolly Kabuto, with Bubble Beam, Dig, Knock Off, and Rapid Spin. We have Silverback with Sturdy, uh, Head Smash, Curse, Iron Head, and Body Slam. 
Adamant Nature, Aaron. Uh, next we have Three Horns, who's Hasty Nature. Our Tyrogue, the Steadfast, Rabbit Spin, for, uh, Foresight, Fake Out, and Mock Punch. Uh, next we have First Mate, who's Naive. I usually expect a Jolly or an Adamant uh, one, but that's cool. Variety. Uh, with Blaze, uh, Heat Wave, Thunder Punch, Assist, and Double Kick. Oh, taking down one of the defenses because starters usually have pretty balanced uh, attacks, uh, attack stats. Okay, that's pretty cool. Sand Sonic, Jolly Nature. Sand Veil with Sword Dance, Night nice Slash, Rabbit Spin, Metal Claw. Uh, Shady, Adamant Nature. Vital Spirit, Fake Out, Ice Punch, Ice Shard, and Rapid Spin. I was generally expecting just to have Present on it. Uh, Aerosmith, Adamant Nature, Rockhead, Fire Fang, Thunder Fang, Ice Fang, Wing Attack. I suppose when you see a lot of the, um, in a lot of the egg moves, the elemental punches and fangs, you know, it's, it's only right to go with them. Adamant Nature, Scorpion, Gligar, uh, Sandvale, Night Slash, Cross Poison, Wing Attack, Metal Club. That is a move set. That is a good move set. Love that. Oh, another Adam in nature. <laughs> um, there's a possibility people just got stuck up and it may have changed back to Adam, so I don't know whether these are what they were intending. Uh, I mean, they fit. They fit for most of them. Uh, Lulu the Rulu. Steadfast. Bullet Punch, Cross Chop, Crunch, Blaze Kick. Really good move set. A really good move set. Uh, Impish Nature, World Turt, Turtwig, Overgrow, Amnesia, Side Bomb, Body Slam, Tickle. Tickle? Okay. <laughs> I'm not one to judge. Uh, then we have Robbie. Uh, Robbie, Robbie, Robbie. Adamant Nature. With Dragon Dance, Ice Punch, Metal Claw, and Ancient Power. But he's going to be holding a Everstorm. <laughs> right. Okay. Those are the new Pokemon. Um, I don't know who I'm going to pick. Um, I, like I said, I do record these in batches. So I'm probably going to weigh up some options. So there may be a new squad next time. Uh, there will be a training montage if there is. I may just do a training montage anyway. Just to sort of see what we're working with. Uh, get everybody up to level 25 just to sort of give us a blanket statement and ask everybody in the PC um, and then we'll sort of work from there and whatever I decide we will go with um, so yeah like I said guys this has been a really long recording session I'm going to try and get it down to somewhat of a decent length uh, but it, you know we had, a, we had a lot of traveling a lot of Pokemon to encounter a lot of eggs to hatch uh, next time we're just going to look around Ecritique City um, and see what is going on around here and then the episode after that um, we will take on Morty for Gym Badge number 4 uh, so guys if you're enjoying this series so far smash that like button if you've uh, noticed that any of those eggs were yours please please leave it down in the comments I'd love to see where these guys come from um and you know would like love to have a, a conversation about the uh, mindset on the pokemon uh also if you're the one who sent get over here in um just let me know if you're okay with me nick re nicknaming scorpion um because obviously i want to make sure that you're okay with that sort of thing uh but with that guys uh like i said make sure you smash that like button leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't and make sure you've run that notification bell so you never miss an episode of the pokemon soul silver egglock and with that guys i'll catch you in equity city next time peace <laughs>